Welcome to the X4 video training. In this short video, we will show you how to create a dashboard showing live data from your machine. To follow along with these steps, you should have already created data sources for your machine in the Service tab. We begin in the Device Overview of X4 Remote. Select the X500 IoT Gateway from the list and switch to the Apps tab. This tab shows a list of the available apps. Activate the Cloud Logging Trial License by clicking Trial. Activate the Trial License. The Cloud Logging app will open. You are now in the Dashboard Overview. Before you can create a monitoring dashboard, you will first have to create tags for the variables you wish to log. To create a new tag, switch to the Tags tab and click the Add Tag button. Similar to the variable configuration, you can either add one single tag manually or import a number of tags automatically from a CSV file. For the purpose of this video, we will create a new tag manually. First, select the variable you wish to create a tag for from the variable list and assign a name to the new tag. By default, the variable name will be used. Now select a logging type. You can choose between interval, value and trigger-based logging. Trigger-based logging is not available at the moment since there are no triggers yet. We will come back to this later. For now, select Logging on Change to log a value whenever a variable changes. Finally, select a maximum amount of logs per hour. And a retention time for the saved data. The maximum retention period is 7 years. When you're happy with the settings, create a new tag by clicking Add. The tag has now been added to the list. You can also edit a tag directly from the list by clicking the drop-down arrow icon. To enable event-based logging, you need to create a trigger. To do so, switch to the Trigger view. Before we continue, let's take a quick look at triggers. Triggers are similar to tags as both are based on an OPC UA variable. Contrary to tags, triggers use a variable's value to define a trigger condition. Once the value of a variable meets the specified trigger condition, the trigger will activate. One trigger can be used by multiple tags to log a variable. Thus, when a trigger activates, all connected tags will log their values. Just like tags, triggers can be added manually or can be imported from a CSV file. Click on Add New Trigger. Now select the variable you want to use as a trigger. For the purpose of this video, we will create a trigger that logs the speed of a machine in case of a critical error. The state variable critical error is perfect for this task. Next, set the trigger condition. In our case, the trigger should fire when a critical error happens thus when the value of a critical error is true. Finally, add a description of the trigger and create it by clicking Add. You can now create a new tag from the machine speed variable and select the logging type Trigger, which is now available after setting up the trigger. Select the trigger you created earlier and set the retention time and maximum logs per hour. Continue creating all the necessary tags and triggers you need for your use case. When you're done, the tags will be displayed in the Tags view, sorted by data type. Before you begin creating dashboards, the changes made here have to be transmitted to the X500. To do so, you could either click on the Sync button in the upper right corner or use the Test Utility in the sidebar to also test your configuration. The test utility will automatically notify you when there are changes that need to be synchronized. Click Sync now to transmit the change configuration to the X500. Once the changes have been pushed to the X500, you should test your settings by clicking on Start Test. The configured variables will now be displayed, together with their values received from the X500. If the test completes successfully, you can start creating dashboards.
To create a dashboard, switch back to the Dashboard Overview and create a new dashboard by clicking the Add Dashboard button. Similar to variables, tags and triggers, you can also import dashboards from prepared files. Click on Add New Dashboard to manually create a dashboard. The X4 portal currently supports two dashboard types. The Data Report dashboard allows you to take a look at the performance over a longer period of time. The Live Monitoring dashboard displays the current state of your machine. In this video, we are creating a Live Monitoring dashboard. You should name your dashboard and select a style for it here. Click Add to proceed to the next step. You can now either create a new dashboard layout from scratch or pick from five different dashboard templates. To give you an idea of the available dashboard widgets, we will select the basic layout for this video. The basic layout is divided into four areas for widgets. Click the Gauge button in the left widget area. The Gauge widget is perfectly suited for displaying speeds, fill levels or pressures. For our demo machine, we want to visualize the machine speed using this widget. To do so, first assign a name to the widget and select the speedometer style. Then select a suitable tag name and enter the desired minimum and maximum values for the display. Click Confirm to save the widget. Now create a graph widget in the upper area. The graph widget is well equipped to display value changes over a period of time. We want to display the torque of two motors in our demo machine here. Enter a name and the value range of the data you want to display. Afterwards, select the desired tags to be displayed and click Confirm to save the widget. Next, create a status widget in the lower left area. The status widget is well suited to display different states of a machine. The machine is running as long as no critical error has happened. Enter the tag to be displayed and the value ranges of the various states. The last remaining widget area should display the amount of products produced by the machine. To display these values, create a value widget in this area. Similar to the other widgets, enter a name and select the desired tag to be displayed. Then click Confirm to save it. All areas in the dashboard are now filled with widgets. To view the dashboard, click on the View button in the upper right corner. As you can see, the live values of the machine are displayed in the dashboard in a well-arranged fashion. You can now access this view from anywhere in the world and always keep an eye on your machine. Close the dashboard and return to the dashboard overview by clicking the X in the upper left corner. The new dashboard will also appear in the device info in the right column. Congratulations! You successfully created tags and triggers and set up a first dashboard.